whether they're ready to have that conversation or not, I'm going to talk about it. Are you willing to be a good woman for a good man? Just an example. Because my man is the way he is, I will cook him dinner, I will serve him his plate, and I will take his plate back to the kitchen when he's done eating. Just to show him how much I love and appreciate everything that he does in our life. Our life would not be possible if it was not for that man. Are you willing to cut people out of your life if they are a threat to your relationship? Ooh. And this is outside of abusive relationships. Whole different topic. Are you willing to cut people out of your life? Friends, family, who are trying to ruin what you have. Are you willing to make your man a priority? Is he going to be the top of your list? If he is going to make you a priority in his life and choose you above anybody else, you have to be willing to do the same for your man. If I am invited somewhere and they go, hey, your man's not allowed, all right, dope, then we are not invited. Mm. I am not going to go anywhere my man is not welcome. We are a package. If he's not welcome, I am not welcome. If you don't like my man, you don't like me. Loyalty is everything to a good man. Being able to trust him is everything to a good man. Don't bring your past relationship trauma to a good man and say, well, now you need to fix it and take everything out on him. Then he didn't do it to you. Don't bring your past relationship trauma to a good man and say you need to fix it and then proceed to take all of your anger out on him. Everything that happened to you in your past on this man who did not cause it to you. You need to be able to work on yourself. Can he be there to help you? Yes. Can he be there to support you? Yes. It is not his job to fix you. Don't throw a man's emotions back in his face. If he is vulnerable to you, if he comes to you as his woman and divulges something he would never tell us somebody else, don't throw that back in his face when you're mad at him. Don't use his feelings against him. Don't use his past against him. If he did something a year or two ago, don't throw it back in his face. You're going to ruin that man. Don't embarrass him. Period. Don't pull a prank on him in front of people. Don't embarrass him in front of his friends. Don't belittle him in front of people. Thanks. That is your man. That is who you chose to be with. He is supposed to feel safe with you. He's supposed to feel loved by you. He's supposed to feel like you are a haven, his peace. Treat a good man the way you expect a good man to treat you. Now, I want to add on to her thing because a lot of women do this. Ladies, I know we've all been hurt. We've been cheated on. We've been abused that kind of thing when you get into a relationship please do not do this enjoy the time you have with that person and get to know that person or take your time before you even get in a relationship don't fixate on is he cheating is he this is he that and you're always looking through his stuff and always trying to ruin a good thing and guess what you're doing self-sabotaging because you have not healed from your past and another thing now a lot of women like to do this you like to test a man and see how much he likes you or see how much he's willing to do for you Let's not test him by getting him jealous on purpose and seeing what he does, causing unnecessary drama and unnecessary chaos. Let those type of things ride out. I always tell women this, if you have a problem with feeling loved or understanding when somebody loves you, take the time to heal, go to the gym, learn to love yourself before you get with the man because you never wanna sit there and question a man's love for you when he's doing everything he can to love you. And you know what's another thing that a lot of women don't know either? Just because that man isn't loving you the way that you want and might not be doing everything that you need at that exact moment, not all men are bad. He is trying his best and you got to understand this. Shit takes time, ladies. We don't get the perfect man when we first get with them. There's a beauty in relationships and in love. When you start building that, it, it builds that up. Stop automatically looking for a vibe. Oh, a connection off the jump. We're not in a fucking movie. <laughs> we are not in a movie, you guys. Like, you have to build that. Build memories with this person. Get to know them. Start learning and understanding men. Learn whether he's nervous or not. Don't automatically assume he's weird on the first day or just think that he doesn't care about you. Stop assuming things. Ask, ladies. I feel like a lot of us have done that in our past where we'll assume that he doesn't love us or doesn't care. We'll ask 21 questions and in all reality, you're pushing this person away. Another thing that a lot of people don't talk about jealousy ladies it's okay to feel insecure we all feel it and we know how some women are some women be pushing up against our men doing a little bit too much we know them bitches but that's not always the case there's someone out here that are just nice there's women out here that are just doing their job and serving your partner so you don't need to get crazy about that jealousy is the biggest killer in relationships you do not own that person yes they are now a part of you but you do not own them the more and more you hold on to him like this he's gonna fucking leave and he's not going to want to be around somebody who's crazy and jealous. And another thing, choose and pick your battles. I myself used to do this in my past where like 
if I didn't feel a problem was hashed out or solved, I would keep bringing it up. That's not healthy at all. If you end that conversation in that moment, you guys both should sit there and say, hey, are we done with this conversation? Do you feel okay? Do you feel like we got everything off our chest? Both of you should not be leaving that table until you both have hashed it out. Because constantly bringing up the same thing over and over again, you're going to make that man feel like he can't do nothing right for you. And you're going to make him feel like everything he was telling you went through one ear and out the other. So ladies, learn to listen and comprehend and understand him. And don't try to just talk back to respond. Make sense? So with that being said, please try to enjoy your relationship. Another thing I would like to add to help you guys in your relationship, social media. Stop going on social media, dictating what you think about people, and then going and doing that. Me personally, you guys know I'm studying to be a therapist, so a lot of the things that I talk about are coming from professionals. It's not just, oh, me. No, I would never even implement half of these things into my relationship or let alone tell you guys if it wasn't true. You know what I'm saying? So if you want to do it, by all means do that. But if you listen to people on social media, be careful because there's a lot of people on here that aren't licensed, don't study for these things, and it's literally just them projecting. So with that being said, take everything everything with a grain of salt from social media remember what works for one couple might not work for y'all so do what works best for you guys and here's another thing that a lot of women don't know stop loving this man however you want to love him not every man's the same like you might think oh, i'm a cook i'm a clean i'm gonna do this for one person it's gonna work for every guy that's not the case every man's love language is different every man grew up different some men take pride in a woman cooking some men take pride in women going out with them hiking or actually having activities with them so make sure you're loving that man the way he needs to be loved not the way you want to and i feel like a lot of women don't do this try to think of a relationship as we and us and what would benefit the both of you stop thinking i happy life happy wife it doesn't work that way so with that being said y'all i really feel as though relationships could be a lot more simple if people took the time to get to know one another and love each other love each other for who they were stop trying to change him as well ladies you get with this man you got with him for a reason stop trying to change the man he is and vice versa everything i go or says I, everything i say you guys can go both ways I really like the part where she added, are you ready to get rid of certain people? And I really do believe that every relationship is different, so you do whatever you want, but I believe that relationships are based off of sacrifice. And think about that, we are a unit. If you have friends that cannot stand your partner and you're still friends with them, I can't look at you the same because it's unloyal to me. Like if your man is having issues with your homegirls and they can't stand him for no reason or just whatever, I personally wouldn't do that. I'm sorry. It's, I'm just that type of person that if I care about you and I love you, I'm going to protect you at all costs. My friends usually don't do that, intervene into my relationship. They know better than that. They know damn well they'll be cut off in a heartbeat. I don't do that drama shit. But stand up for your man, ladies. It shows a lot. I feel like a lot of women want a man who takes care of them, provides for them, you know, um, shows them their more emotional side when they're vulnerable. But ladies, what are you doing to bring that out of a man? You know, you see what I'm saying? Like, are you making him feel comfortable? Are you pressuring him to fucking speak up? Are you the type of girl, like if you're the type of girl to talk shit about your friends and bring up all your friends' business and you're wondering why he's not vulnerable with you, that's probably why, because you're a big mouth. So shut the fuck up. Learn to keep people's business to yourself. If somebody tells you something, keep it to yourself. Um, We've all been there where we said certain people's business and we shouldn't say that. Now you know you shouldn't do it. Shut up now. Um, Love that man wholeheartedly and protect his heart. I say this time and time again. Men protect us physically we protect their hearts emotionally and we protect them spiritually that's our job to be nurturing and loving them whether you guys think this is weird or not but that's the whole point of men being like our fathers our fathers would give us off to the men to know that that's a good man for us does that make sense so it's the same thing with us we should be like their new mother even though it sounds crazy we should love nurture them take care of them a lot of people don't understand that do you know how many men i've met that are in flourishing relationships happy all that that say that their their wives literally treat them like their moms they get baby they get cherished they get loved but you gotta understand that they do that type of treatment to their husband and their husband reciprocates that with love with gifts and certain things so if you're not getting a lot of the things that you want in life, and I'm not saying this is for everybody because sometimes certain things are unfair, but if you're not getting enough out of a partner, I don't feel like you're putting into that person as much as you want. I feel like a lot of men reciprocate energy. A lot of people do. Think about that. If you're not putting into somebody as much as they're putting into you, why would I waste my time? Especially in today's today's society. <laughs> so like I said, ladies, please just try your best to like wholeheartedly care and love somebody and then you'll get the best results but with that being said y'all love is about sacrificing 
be loyal love that person wholeheartedly like stop doing this half-ass shit man like if you really want to be invested into somebody do the work take your time to heal but this girl man everything she says ah oh, i love the way she speaks speaks volumes 